you know, just remaining and not either not getting very involved or just saying a few cogent points and moving on or whatever. Not getting into the big energy of it is that's the only point I want to make. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, whether it's, yeah, if it's that kind of politics you're referring to, whether it's COVID-19, I mean, yes. this yeah. whole thing has also created a lot of separation and a lot of disagreements in the families because uh, there are people who are taking it very seriously and or they're really freaked out about it of and there are people who are very easy going with it and that creates divisions in the family uh, or you having or people having ideas about election i don't know which election you're referring to i'm assuming you're you're referring to the u.s election yes, uh, yes. right so where where do you live where are you from um i i i am irish but i live in northern california okay in, where where in northern california um, in the greater sacramento area okay all right so yeah and uh <clears throat> You know, we all learn hard lessons because as careful as I am not to get involved into these kind of conversations, especially with the strangers, forget it. I, I don't I don't say a word. But then with family that you're very close with and you see them two, three nights a week and uh, conversations like that comes up. And there are times that I'm like, I literally have to stop myself and not say anything. Just keep my mouth shut. Uh, because if I open my mouth, I get myself into trouble. And I've done that. And uh, I've noticed to some points, nothing good comes out of it. That's been my experience is I, I'm not recommending this to anybody because you have to do what you have to do, but I've learned to keep my mouth shut. The more I keep my mouth shut, the better it is. So, um, and then I, you know, I go and do my own thing, whatever my thing is, but I don't need to, uh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't work trying to convince, um, somebody else within the family. I mean, this uh, about uh, political ideas or which way is the right way or da, da 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 They have to go through what they have to go through. They need to learn. Uh, and if, because the thing is, okay, here is, I have to look at myself always, but in my case, I also look at it as very, very different than other people in the world. Uh, it's a very rare case and that comes to um, literally not having much interest or not getting involved with the world's affairs. So I look at it, no matter what the situation is, whether it's COVID-19 or it's the U.S. presidency or whatever the story is, or it's mandatory vaccination whatever is the scenario and i either agree with it or i disagree with it i may find it bullshit or it's valid i may just view it like it's all lies and it doesn't exist or i may really buy buy it and say it's really true so but the bottom line is for me i'm not my involvement with world affairs are very, 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 very low. Uh, I don't give it any energy because I don't view the world as real. But I always have to remind myself how many people think or look at things that way. And that is a very, very, very minimum. So what am I trying to do? Trying to get involved into a conversation um, that this whole thing is bullshit 
to <laughs> to with someone who is very involved and very much uh, believes that the world is real. So that's kind of absurd and that's kind of a stupid thing to do on my behalf to get involved into that. So the best is for me to keep my mouth shut. But that's a formula for me. I'm not recommending it to anybody else. You have to do what you have to do. But for me, I realize there's nothing good comes out of it. Uh, I would say that with the, forget the politics, with the COVID, it's a little more serious because within families, you know, we are talking about health and risks and masks or not masks yes. or yes. going out or mixing or visiting family or not, right. family, not wanting them there. It's a little closer to, I mean, the politics is sure who cares yeah because you you may die or somebody close yeah. to you may die from the virus and it's so, hard to sort out those if people are yeah, different opinions within the exactly family. exactly i agree with you 100 percent. so again i prefer cl keep my mouth shut and uh but you know there's you know there's something interesting i go on this trip with two of my very close friends uh I have to remind myself because I forget that I've had five near death experiences. So my view of death is completely different because I'm not afraid of it anymore. Um, I don't care. It's, it's, it's doesn't even I don't entertain the thought of death uh, because I welcome it. I, you know, I'm like, oh, wow, when it comes, I'm really looking forward to this transition because I'm really, really curious to know how really like a little child, really curious that I really want to know when I die, how this thing is going to happen. And I want to be fully conscious of it. But that's so far different than anyone else. So I have to remind myself, like Zarathustra, not everybody feels or thinks the way you do because you had five near-death experiences. You have come very close and kissing the lips of death. And so naturally something has snapped inside you, something has shifted inside you and you deal with it very casually. And I had to see it because I'm traveling in this motor home, in this RV with two of my close friends and we're in a couple of life and death situations. Like when the brakes went out on the RV on this hill and you know I managed to pull there was no moment in my life that I thought we're gonna die I had a very strong deep uh, faith and trust that everything was going to work out perfectly and it did but my two friends were freaked out I mean not in a moment but later on and I had to just, it reminded me like, wow, how far when it comes to the subject of trusting life or death, how far I have separated myself from majority of people on the planet because they really believe they're going to die. And I don't, I've lost that sense. <laughs> 